Welcome, music fans of the internet. I'm Derek. And I am Kevin. And we're last week's album. Thanks again for joining us this week, where we are discussing Hush or Howl by Black Pistol Fire. Uh, Black Pistol Fire is a Canadian rock and roll whoa, duo. Whoa, that's whoa, 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 whoa. I think we're forgetting something, are we, Derek? Yeah, we are, Kevin. Thank you for stopping me. Cheers, Kevin. Cheers, everyone at home. Especially because it's actually National Beer Day. So cheers to that, as well as music in general. So, yeah. Uh, I just took two sips there for the party foul, more or less, which I think I got you last week. So this is, you know, <laughs> right back at me. So before uh, right back where I was, Canadian rock and roll duo, splitting time between Toronto, Canada, and Austin, Texas. Uh, the duo is comprised of Kevin... McEwen on guitar and vocals, and Eric Owen on drums. This is their second uh, full-length album following Big Beat 59 in 2012? Third, maybe? I think it's their third. I think there was a Black Pistol Fire. Uh, I think it was uh, self-titled. Okay, first. okay, yeah. I may have seen something about that. Um, okay, so they're kind of an up-and-coming band, and let's, go, let's talk about what they sound like. So, Kevin, why don't you start us off there? All right, I am going to say that uh, Hush or Howl by Black Pistol Fire sounds like Kings of Leon use shovels and rope to dig up black keys and tie them to white stripes. What do you think it sounds like, Derek? Nice. Kevin, I think Hush or Howl sounds like girls in short shorts, Daisy Dukes, if you will, and multi dudes driving around a bright colored Dodge Charger with a red and white maple leaf painted on top. So that brings us to key tracks. Um, Kevin, what did you have? Uh, Derek, for key tracks, I have Blue Eye Commotion and Show Pony. What about you? Those were good ones, although I went with Your Turn to Cry and Run Rabbit Run. Uh, Your Turn to, tr uh, Turn to Cry is one of the first, one of the first ones we're going to be discussing uh, as appears on the album. Um, and I thought this one represented the hush in Hush or Hell, if you will. Um, it kind of came across in two different parts. Uh, the first kind of opening with banjo, soft steel guitar in the background, uh, and tambourine taps, and, and just heavily affected vocals, I thought. Um, and then there was a pause. And then the banjo picked up, there was quick tapping drumsticks, boot stomping, and it was a hell of a good time. Um, I, th I thought uh, towards the end there it kind of sounded like Ryan Bingham. Um, you know, if there was a little bit more raging guitar in there, I thought it, you, it might sound like uh, bread and water, if you will. But uh, I just really enjoyed the song here um, for its simplicity, but it was still a very rockin' melody. Uh, so, Ken, why don't you tell us about your first one? Uh, before that, I would like to say that your turn to cry, uh, playing off your sounds like a little even more, Derek. This one reminded me of like a more redneck Kings of Leon I'm not sure if that's possible, not in terms of sound per se, but just sort of attitude and vibe. I don't know what it was, but it was a more redneck Kings of Leon, if those guys could be more redneck. Yeah, Kevin, uh -huh. I thought one of, one of the dis few decipherable lyrics I could pick up was, uh, I think it was, uh, darling, your turn to step, you know, darling, step up, your turn to cry. Um, which I think really plays into the overall theme of youth and young manhood, if you will. True, true. Uh, my first key track is actually Blue Eye Commotion, and uh, has this brief intro before a full-on breakneck romp begins. Great guitar solo before this interesting kind of pop rock bridge. It was the only time on the album where it sounded like pop rock, um, but it sounded a lot like early Kings of Leon to me, and I just love the energy and speed and simplicity of it. Just the rawness was really, really nice. Uh, what was your next key track, Derek? Uh, Kevin, my next one was Run, Rabbit, Run. Um, this one started with some rumbling drums and then uh, guitars, which shifted between loud, uh, just blasting chords to a tense, undulating riff. Uh, the bridge, um, it, and here I thought it sound, you know, it goes in this part where it's just this driving bass drum, um, drumstick taps and vocals doing the, the chorus melody. And I swear it sounds just like Ram Jam's Black Betty, which brings me back to my sounds like, because I looked at you know looked up and every hit was Dukes of Hazard. So, um, but it's a really good song. And there was just a sick guitar solo towards the end. 
at one point, at one point, McKean's just singing along with his solo, just high energy, um, just really cool rock and roll song. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for my next key track, I have Show Pony, and uh, I really dug it. It has this great southern rock guitar hook, crashing drums, really fast-paced, kind of flowing, almost rapish uh, verses, and this fuzzy, blazing solo, wailing choruses. And then late in the song, there's this fake-out outro, which I'm going to coin the term fake outro. Don't know if it's a word, but it is now. And um, <laughs> then it's, it's kind of this classic rock fake outro, and then it all comes banging back in. And then later we get another late sort of time shift, which is kind of a time shift bridge. I don't know what it is, but I know that I like it. Um, it's a little bit one of the jammier, longer songs and kind of changes pace and dynamic uh, two or three times. So really dug it for those reasons. Yeah, that was a good one. Uh, I almost went for that one. But that brings us now to best lyric. Best lyrics we're going with this week because we can't really tell what they're saying. So ah, they're not going to so tough mark. to tell here. Uh, so, uh, Ken, I guess I'll start us off with my best lyric. Um, this one comes from, I can't say with, <laughs> without ending in a question, this one comes from Your Turn to Cry, more or less speaking. Um, and this one was, tell me you're the one with the Goldilocks. You can tell her by the way she walks. And I couldn't get anything else beyond that. Uh, that's funny because my best lyric is also from uh, Your Turn to Cry. And it goes, you don't kiss as well as you think. Not to worry because I want your soul to make. And I want to show you how. At least I think that's what they're saying. Um, but yeah, it was uh, it was pretty tough this week to uh, to make these out. Nonetheless, still a lot of fun. You don't really have to worry about what they're saying. Yeah, yeah, the energy carries it all, which brings us to overall rating. Kevin, what do you think? All right, I'm gonna go with a three out of five, Derek. Um, this isn't groundbreaking, but it's still tons of fun and very rocking nonetheless. Um, on first listen, it does sound like other bands, like I mentioned earlier, Kings of Leon here and there, Black Keys here and there, White Stripes here and there. Um, but the more you listen to it, the more you pick up on the nuances that do make these guys unique. And I think they do a good job to overcome their limitations as a duo, which, you know, it's hard not to sound like those other bands. Um, but they do a good job of peppering in different eras and flavors of, uh, you know, rock, blues, roots, and even a little country. And, um, yeah, so three out of five. What did you think, Derek? Um, Kevin, you know, we're going to differ in opinions here because I'm going five out of five. Um, and I actually kind of like some of the points you made because they play very well in the mind. Um, I'm reading from my notes verbatim almost, except for, you know, they're going to hopefully sound intelligible here. First impression, more how than hush, but that's okay. Second, sure, you can probably slap a ton of comparisons on these guys, but if you look around, all these comparisons are really good, solid acts. Number three, when, when considering that this sound is created by two people not named Jack and or Meg, that's impressive. So I just really dug what these guys are doing. Um, you know, I think they're really going to develop. Um, you know, and I think this is, you know, and I hadn't heard a lot of their earlier stuff, but I think they're on the way up. I like the way they're trending. You know, they're going upwards. So I'm giving them five out of five. Um, much to the dismay of Kevin's 3 out of 5. So there you have it. Um, listen to it for yourself and tell us what you think. Thanks again for joining us here at last week's album. Don't forget to subscribe to our shiz. And uh, join us again next week where we'll be continuing to talk about good music. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers, guys. See you next week.